Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna show you what I got from Korea. I stayed there for 12 full days. freaking cold negative celsius it was snowing i was freezing it was so bad i had these the one that you make like this but i i had to put it in my freaking sock it was so cold and it still didn't like suffice to the warmth i needed my fingers were so cold i felt so numb besides the cold and packing so much sweaters it was awesome it was fun i was tired every day but i didn't care i kept going and it was just so cool we explored seoul busan and Jeju Island. It was more than we did in Japan. We did it because we felt like since we went to Japan, we didn't do as much as we wanted. I bought more stuff than I did in Japan. Like in Japan, I really limited myself. I only got one $5 t-shirt. That was a really like out of nowhere trip. It was literally last minute. YOLO'd it. So I didn't have a lot of money saved. But Korea, we planned this a long time ago for a graduation present. I bought a lot of clothes, a lot of fashion clothes, and I'm actually gonna make a separate video, lookbook or fashion haul, I guess. And I have the vlogs and what I what I did. And for the first part I got, of course, just like my Japan haul, which I will link up here, I got a lot of socks. Train station walking around, to the Myeongdong, to Itaewon, to Hongdae, all of the stores, like, just calling out to you they had every single sock you would imagine i mean they even have a starbucks sock a ramen noodle type of sock I got a lot of face masks i got so much face masks i gave it away too i saved a lot for myself though you know i got big bang socks versus day sun you can kind of tell because of his hair and his eyes t.o.p because it's t.o.p quality isn't bad it's actually pretty good it's actually not too thin like really thin it's actually pretty thick g dragon socks <laughs> ultimate bias they said in korean but this is taeyang and then oh he's getting married next month i don't know if end of february or early february it's between those two it's crazy i'm happy for him his fiance is really pretty he's such a like a model she was like everyone always talks about her pointed nose and stuff summary and we went to his ramen shop aori in gangnam and it was pretty cool it had the ichiran kind of vibe to it and his mascot, which is the girl, kind of reminded me of Chihiro from Spirited Away. So I think I don't I've never heard if he did. Got the Big Bang socks. You know, they had BTS, they had Icon, they had Winner, I think. They're all just in those type of flea market style. But I'm sure you could get it when you're on the train station going, walking around. But they sell a little more more like you won't get more worth than your bucks like if i went to the train station they would sell nine for ten thousand won versus the eleven for ten thousand won because it's more foot traffic there so they know that their value is higher and i got aerial socks mickey mouse socks totoro totoro socks like the japan video i got sailor moon socks i got sailor moon chibi usa chibi usa <laughs> sailor venus sailor mercury I didn't get Sailor Jupiter. I was like, wait, green is not here. I didn't realize because they just kept going. I don't know if they ran out. I got no face. This is Iron Man. Oh, I'm giving this to my best friend because she likes Iron Man. So, toss it over there. Her pile. I got so much stuff. Got Mickey Mouse socks. Mini Mouse socks. Buzz Lightyear socks. Woody socks. Donald Duck socks. Daisy Duck socks. Mike Wazowski socks. And I got Soli socks. Long short is that these are actually one. 1,500 won, less than 150. This is only 1,000 won. It's worth it, trust me, it's so much worth it. At Forever 21, one type of socks like this would be $1.90. They use Cacao Talk, so Cacao Talk is kind of like Line Friends, if you haven't heard of Line Friends or Cacao Talk. It's just an app to communicate through text or anything. A lot of people use Cacao Lines or WhatsApp. They have a lot of apps for these types of communications to text. So. Uh, popular one was cacao in korea and line friends is really popular in china and all of asia so 
Every place you'll go, you'll see a line friends. And my favorite is Moon and Connie and Brown, because Connie and Brown are a couple, and they're so cute. I like Moon because Moon has a like kiki evil face. The cow talk is very dominant in Korea. There's characters like, my best friend loves them, Mizu, Neo. I like JG because that's my initial. I actually wrote in like that character. I didn't know that was inspired bring by them out, bring Anyways, them out. what I got there was a lot of stickers. 3D of brown stickers. See? Connie, her expression face. Okay, so this is James. Very narcissistic. Very into himself, which makes him funny. See? And I got his 3D styled face. I really, really like Moon. His character is just really funny to me, that's why. So I'm sticking that around everything I see, like my phone, laptop, everything. So yeah, I got a lot of stickers. 1,400 won. It's so affordable and cheap. So that's why I got a lot of freaking stickers because I love their stickers. It's air fresheners for myself. 14,000 won, so it's about less than $14. Really expensive, I know, but you're buying the brand and they're so cute. I had I wanted to get Connie, but I was like, Ugh, I'm not just gonna get Connie by itself. I have to get brown. So they're really cute. I got a face mask. Coin. Pocket coin less than $8. This was $10 basically. I kind of regret getting this because it's cloth and it's white so. But it's really cute because I love her facial expression. I know I'm such a sucker. This was already like less than $100. I'm so sad because I, I know I wanted to buy more stuff but it's okay. I got this pencil for makeup. Pencil or makeup. Leather Connie. Bag. What I was really hunting for were their slippers because they ran out of my size because I'm in between. I don't have big feet and I don't have super small feet. So it was really hard to find my size, but through a lot of searching, I found the shoes I wanted. And it's Connie, look, like two different facial expressions. They're so cute and they're really affordable. They're about $10 US, less than $10, I think. I think. But my favorite one is the brown slippers because it's different, it has fur on it. So it's more soft. This is more waterproof right here, but this is for more pricier than Connie by just a few bucks. So I got that. I also got these stitch slippers and they weren't that expensive too. And they're really cute and light. I know I really am a sucker for slippers because I love, I don't know why I like socks and slippers with characters on it because they're so cute. I was going to buy more, but I, like I said, I had to limit myself because of packing. Now let's talk about cacao. So in cacao store, I, ha I was FaceTiming my best friend throughout the whole time asking her what do you want because she realized that I had a pointer everywhere. My phone ran out of battery and then we finally drew to conclusion and I had to bring a freaking poster around. Stickers of JG. I actually got this for my best friend. She doesn't know that. It's for her birthday. Her birthday's coming up. So hopefully she doesn't watch this. It's Musy little air freshener because you just put it on your car and look. I got her a car freshener of Neo. Peach the character because I think peach is a cute one too so um, band-aids and they're only a dollar each I got the Neo and the peach I got some pens JG pens and they're really cute so I'm glad I have that in my little pencil box I started school soon so that sucks I felt like I got more stuff but I don't I think because I used it on, on during the trip that it might be in my bag or in my luggage somewhere so I don't know where those went Moozy earrings this is for my best friend for her birthday. So face masks, I went to Innisfree because they're known for all their products, all of their skincare. They had a sale, I think buy to get one free or something like that. I bought the bamboo one, aloe vera, green tea face mask, lime face mask, the oatmeal face mask, got more bamboo, honey face mask, rose face mask, ginseng face mask. It's like a dollar per one. I heard great stuff about it and when I used it at, in Korea, there's so much serum on it. It stuck to my face throughout the whole time. It did not like go out like some face masks. It was actually really thin and full of serum. I got more face masks from Artbox. So Artbox is like, it's like another character store and has a lot of different characters also. I like the chicken with the yellow poofy afro. <laughs> So cute. so cute. Different types of face masks there because it's only like a dollar or more that I got. This one, which says Ampule and all these other serums, and this was two dollars. The Neo one is so cute. I think I'm gonna give this to my best friend. One of their characters, 
face mask. Their other character, Connie face mask, Peach face mask, Ryan face mask. I know we're such sucker for all these characters. When this is one plus one, that means there's two in here. So I thought I'd buy one, get one for This is definitely one of the characters. I haven't tried this yet, but it looks pretty good. And I got more face masks. There's the underground station of the train station where you go to go shopping. There's a lot of K-pop stores. So of course it was hard for me to resist. At first I went to this one because there's stickers right outside and I was like, no way. So I grabbed a lot of stickers and there's so many stickers that I got. Blackpink stickers, 2,000, 3,000 won, the G-Dragon bin. Oh, I got a GV calendar. This costs about 10,000 won. Icon sticker, like the quality is more hard and thicker. And I got winner, a pink for my friend, my best friend. And I got more Blackpink. I got two of their Blackpink, the harder one, 2,000 won. BTS. I don't know, I just like twice like their songs. Like I just think their songs are so catchy. So I just got it out of the splurge of getting it. And I got A Pink from my best friend. I got Big Bang, of course. G Dragon by himself. I got A Pink from my best friend. A Pink from my best friend. Black Pink Pin. Are they both called pins then? A button pin. Like I said, every time I travel, I always get a shot glass. And I'm sure you could get it at any like souvenir shop. So I went into a random one. And I chose this one because it had Namsan Soul Tower. Palace gate. We just had all of the main attractions in Seoul that you would go to. And then we went to YG Republic and as we left, they actually gave this as a gift. So I just thought, oh wow, that's pretty cool because I think they sold it for like 4,000, 5,000 more. Korean shirt for myself. But they had gray, black, and white. David said white looks the best because it matches the flag with it. And I got a size small. Oh, wait! <gasps> Joy, this is actually my nephew's. I don't know where mine is. It's all Nanda store and they also sell makeup. So there's this called 3CE or 3 Concept Eyes. When I went shopping online, I actually bought their 3CE Mood Recipe Lip Color Mini Kit. And they're really small compared to their actual lipstick. And this was actually, I got it for cheaper because I got on Black Friday. I tried all the colors and they're pretty cool, but only one of them stood out. Number 116, it's more of an orangey color. The quality is not bad. It ends up really matte. And they last for a long while. The only problem is, is it's kind of drying. That's the only thing. But overall, I just like their colors. I don't remember. I think it was like 15,000 won. They're pretty affordable. I got another lipstick. And this one is more pink. And I got their lip, their lip tint. So I think that's something new to them. And it looks like this. Love their um, packaging. But this is called Daffo Daffodil. Really smooth. I really like the quality. Really simple and light. I'm wearing now number 116. This is called Mellow Flower. More pink on the pink side. And this is called daffodil this is the lip tint and wow this is actually really beautiful maybe i should have got this the lip tint in this color but i just wanted to get something different for each of the lips it's like a clam i think it looks like clam or flower maybe it's a flower see i chose this one because it looked the cutest the colors are more sh on the shimmery side as shimmer shard shimmer shard and this is more the pink side really light that's why i like this so you can't even see it that's how light it is but i could see in person it's really shimmery like cute natural kind of shimmer and this is more brown more like burnt brown at least you could see this a little more but yeah it's really shimmery and it actually is really pigmented now my figure looks like a foil they look so good together it's called sweets and this is the eyeshadow this is like a lipstick and a little part this is different than theirs so you actually have to use your fingers <laughs> I got it because of the packaging. It's a heart. This is called Maroon Beige. It's more glossier than these. These are more matte. This is more on the glossy side. <laughs> now my arm is like all shimmery. The makeup I got is from Moonshot. Moonshot is affiliated with YG. YG Entertainment, which is where I like because they have music, artists, and everything. That's where Big Bang is from. Every time I go to a Korean store, they always follow you and I get really like uncomfortable that I actually leave. And Moonshot, that was kind of what happened. They all just stare at you and I was like, well, I'm not going to steal it. I got this lipstick color. I can't find it. I don't know if I, it's in David's luggage. They lost his luggage. His actually big luggage with all his clothes. Moonshot is more on the expensive side. I think that cost me $20 plus. I don't remember. I felt like it was versus 3CE was more cheaper. So I prefer 3CE, but since they're affiliated and they are from YG, I had to get it one. So. I got one and I lost it, so I don't know what happened. I got this shirt, like like what I did in Japan video. I'm actually wearing one of the stuff I bought, which is from Chu. It's a cute, sexy 
brand. If you go to Hongdae, it's right from Style Nanda. On the other side would be Chu. It has like three stories, I believe. The bottom would be lingerie, the sexy part. The second is like clothes and jewelry. The third part is their makeup. They also sell makeup. I didn't buy anything because I bought too much in 3CE that I thought I think I'm good with makeup. I only bought this crew neck that's like not really a jacket or shirt. It's really lightweight and it's cute. Look, it says ELC Esther loves Chew. 92. I wanted at least one thing from Chew because I follow them on Instagram and I like some of their stuff because they're really cute. They're really pink, strawberry. They're all about the pink, strawberry, and all that, and a bunny. They like bunnies. <laughs> I think that's their mascot. When I went to Everland, I got this headband. Everland was really fun, but since it was winter, a lot of the rides were closed, like the one that I wanted to go to. We wanted to go on Tea Express. It was like the largest wooden coaster in Asia, I think. It's not that great to go in the winter because a lot of rides are closed. Like this is also closed. It wasn't safe, you know, because it's icy, cold and everything. That was kind of a bummer, but at least the safari part was open. Really fun. If you go there, you guys should get their fast pass. You're limited to one though, so you buy it before the gate. I got this milk avocado hand cream for free because when we went ice fishing, they had a festival and then they had a little entertainment part where these girls half naked were dancing like they're k-pop stars they're dancing on the stage and i was like oh girl i feel so bad for you but then the mc was like your guys turn to dance so i just danced <laughs> The smell doesn't bother me. It smells a little not my forte, but it's not that bad. I mean, I got it for free for dancing, so why not? One of the, the souvenir snack I got was called the Dragon Beard Candy. So if you go Myeongdong or I think it's safe to go Myeongdong, they would have like about two snacks that sell it because they do a whole show for you. They have one little a piece of candy and then they do one and then two and then four and then eight and then 16 and 32 and they keep going to 16,000 I believe and then this is what I got so I bought a whole pack of it I want to try and I got the one with almond because that's the most popular one the first time I tasted it it melted in my mouth it's something more different so when I went to Jeju Island I went to the 7-eleven and remember how I said I was so sad that in Japan I got this milk tea that I really really liked and they didn't even sell it in Korea because that was the first thing I checked. I was like, I went to the convenience store drink aisle and their milk tea area and their milk tea area didn't have as much selection. Dude, they sell happy lemon. And I can't what? I was actually trying to look for the milk tea. I don't know what to say, but they don't have it. Should I get the happy lemon? Oolong tea. No. But in Jeju, they had the one I really like which is the milk tea from Lipton. But when I first tasted it, it didn't taste as good as it, it did in Japan. So I'm kind of disappointed, but I had to buy another one just to bring it home. Where we got these is at Myeongdong because they had a store outlet that sells all kinds of snacks. So there, it was really packed, so we went in there and just got a lot of random snacks. So it is like a hard caramel with almond in the middle. It's really unique. When I bite into it, I thought it would be so hard. They didn't have as much crazy selection as Japan, but their snacks are pretty cool. It's like a waffle cracker, and I really liked it because when we used to subscribe to this um, Korean box where they send you each month different types of Korean snacks, I actually liked this one the most. When I saw the same brand there, I took all of it, and then there's only like two left, so I was like, damn, it's really popular. So this one is more on the soft side, and it tastes like strawberry, like those milky can kind of candy. I chew kind of candy, but peach. It's like a little ball. It has a rose in it, so probably a rose ball. Oh, it's a chewing gum. I love rose candy. Or rose anything. I can't tell if it's chai or, or gum. And then I got a peach bag. <laughs> I put my earrings in it. And it's from Cacao. And then I got this. <laughs> Remember from Japan, I got my dog the, um, the like sushi Japanese type of one and then clothing and then I got him this. I actually got this in Busan because it's cheaper. Their flea market there is more cheaper than Myeongdong. It's way cheaper than this. This is the one from Japan I got him. But this is from Korea. So now he's wearing that. You guys could watch my Japan haul and stay tuned to watch my vlogs because I'll show you what I did every day which was fun filled and crazy and 
I wore a hanbok, which is really cool. Thank you for watching my Korea haul video. I hope to see you guys soon. And don't forget to look out for the next videos because I'm going to work so hard on those. Bye, guys. Say bye, Wings. Ready, Wings? Mwah.